To fully understand the pros and cons of artificial intelligence, let's go 360 to look at AI from multiple perspectives. You'll hear from the president of Microsoft on the benefits of AI and an ethics expert at Marquette University who warns of the potential for bias. But we begin with a prominent voice in Milwaukee's AI community who is advocating for inclusion and education. Tariq Moody gave me a quick tutorial on Perplexity AI, a chatbot-powered research engine. He's built something similar in the past to help residents ask questions about the city budget. Most people don't have time to read a 9,000 page budget or go through the details. So you see a lot of possibility for good with AI? There's a lot of possibility for good, yes. I mean, it's, but it always comes with a caveat of uh, responsibility. Ignoring that responsibility, Tariq says, could cause real harm. Brown and black people will be left behind and hurt the most by this technology if we don't do something now. <laughs> Professor Michael Zimmer is an ethics expert and vice chair of Marquette's Department of Computer Science. Do you think the tech industry has a diversity problem? I think there still is a problem with a lack of diversity in, in tech. Things have been improving and a lot of the large companies spend a lot of effort trying to increase the diversity of their, of their workforce. Without diversity, Professor Zimmer says bias can become an unintended consequence of AI systems. We may not even realize that that AI might pick up that, that bias and sort of amplify it in ways that are hard to understand. So I brought the concerns of Dr. Zimmer and Tariq to the president of Microsoft, Brad Smith. If all the people who are building and coding and working with these AI tools are doing the input, um, the human element of this look the same or the same demographic, that would open the door potentially to bias being integrated into these AI tools. I think that's such an important point. Certainly one of the things we've learned as a company over many years is the best way to protect against and prevent bias is to have a diverse group of people working together to create and manage the technology itself. It would just be a huge shame, obviously, if we created jobs that did not bring opportunities for the diversity that is here already. And so that's really a huge priority for us. How do you make sure there's diversity in that hiring process? I think fundamentally it's just an imperative that we work in partnership with people here in Wisconsin who are already experts in how to train people and create opportunities for diverse people. So that's why our partnership with Gateway Technical College, with the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, yeah, these are institutions that are already doing this work. Smith also acknowledged that today's AI announcement could spark concerns about job displacement in southeastern Wisconsin. Well, I think jobs will change. And you know, just as with every generation of technological advance, you know, some jobs will go away, new jobs will be created, mostly jobs will change. It's why Microsoft's $3.3 billion investment is focused on creating a future-ready workforce, including youth education and employment programs in Racine County. It's a huge priority to focus on the next generation. And that means getting AI education like computer science education into public schools. That's something Smith says Microsoft is already doing in MPS. Tariq says he's encouraged to hear about plans for AI literacy because fear-based views of AI will not be productive for the future of any community. You, you fear what you don't know, and we can't have that. And that's why AI literacy curriculum has to be implemented kindergarten all the way through careers. I think that's very important to have in a technology that moves so fast. Moving fast toward a still unknown future. I think the positives outweigh the potential problems, but only if we do a good job. Andrea Elbers, TMJ4 News, Lighthouse.